This test uses the same QC2 control software and the same schematic, but with new resistor values. So 1.5k to ground, 10k to 5 volt, and 470 ohm between D plus and the Arduino pin. Let's try with the cheap QC2 charger. The result is the same, 12 volt, 9 volt, then a drop and a reset before going back to 5 volt in a standard USB charging mode. Let's now test the cheap QC3 charger in the same conditions. And that's much better. This charger now also outputs 12V, 9V, and this one goes back down to 5V as expected without resetting, and more cycles can be achieved. Finally, let's test the Anker QC3 charger. And it's also a success, with clean 12V, 9V and 5V cycles. One can also notice that the descending slope is much faster, so the output capacitor is discharged much more efficiently with this reputable charger.